Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of IoT on Raspberry Pi. So in this episode we are going to mainly focus on our IoT Hub platform. So as I said earlier there are many open source IoT Hub platform available but the one which I personally like is the Thingsboard IoT platform. So I'll share the link in the description. You need to first reg register on this IoT Hub platform. So there are two versions from the community edition and the professional edition and we are going to use the community edition in the live demo mode and you need to create account here by giving your name and the email id so once you successfully register here this is the kind of menu you will get so there are two important aspects of this menu one is a dashboard i will have to sign in again actually okay so this is the dashboard i do not have any dashboard here so let's go ahead and create our first dashboard so you can go ahead and click this plus button to create your new dashboard simply name it the one which which you want and you can add a description here which is optional and click add so this is the dashboard which we have just added now the next important thing is we need to add our devices in this iot hub platform so there are many devices already added but the but we will create our own device and we'll create it by going to this plus sign and we'll name it as let's say rpa device rpa device and the device type is default and click add so here we have this is our device which we have just added let's go ahead okay so there are few important things related to this device first important thing is when our one when our raspberry pi will actually start sending messages to this iot hub platform the messaging protocol needs to use a particular username and the password so the password for this iot hub platform is none actually so we are not going to use any password but we need the username so username is basically the access token so you can get the access token of this device by going to manage credentials this is the access token or you can simply copy the access token by clicking this button okay this is the one part another important thing is the latest telemetry well, now let's talk about what telemetry is the telemetry is all the messages coming from your hardware to this platform so before going before proceeding further we just need to test whether our device is able to connect to this platform and is able to send data to this platform or not so for this we will have to edit the code which we have written in our second video so let's go ahead and quickly edit that code what we will do is we will simply first import the messaging protocol which is the paho mqtt we installed earlier and we also import the json all the messages which are sent from the hardware from the device to the platform is encoded in the json format now we first need to mention which iot hub platform we are using so the one which we are using is the things board now we need to mention which port we are using so we are using 1883 port we need to mention the username so the username is our access token which we just copied so this is the username and the password is actually it's nothing it's blank next important thing is the topic because all our messages will be published to this particular topic so the topic is basically the topic for all the devices in the things board is same so you can also use this same topic now let's go ahead and create a mqtt client now we need to give the username and password and let's connect to our iot hub on the port which we have mentioned and let's simply print the man print the message let's say connection 
success okay so this is this part is done now here we are making our led high we are making our led high so let's edit this part and before that we need to take a dictionary okay and here let's let's use a key for this which is gp gpio status and let's enter the value of this key which is on now let's encode this message into the json json format and simply publish this json message to the topic client publish topic data okay now the same thing which we, the same thing we have to do for our led when it is off Okay, so we are done now. Let's quickly review what we have done. Here we are passing the username and password to our messaging protocol. We are connecting to our IoT hub, and then when our LED is high, we are simply putting this value into our key, and then we are converting that message to the JSON format, and then we are simply publishing the message to the per topic. So, and the same we are doing when our LED is off when our LED is low. So let's save this code and let's run this and let's check if this these messages are getting displayed in our IoT Hub platform or no. Okay, here we have finally we have done this and as you can see all the messages are displayed here, which means that we have successfully connected to our IoT Hub platform or hardware has successfully connected to the platform and it's successfully sending all the messages to this IoT Hub platform. So in the next video what we'll do is we'll make use we'll make this value appear on the dashboard which we have created and then we'll see how we can use all this information to publish on a on a public URL so that you can access it from anywhere you want anywhere in the world you want. So I guess that's all for this video and thank you for watching this. I hope you liked it. Please like, share, subscribe and comment if you have any questions regarding this.